So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have Audacity installed. However, two things I want to mention to you before we get started. Audacity requires an encoder called LAME in order to export MP3 files. If this is your first time doing it or if you haven't installed LAME already, you need to do that. I'll go ahead and put links for the Windows and Mac versions of LAME in the description below. Secondly, you want to check your preferences, go to Audacity, Preferences, and under Import and Export, here um, under when exporting tracks to an audio file, make sure that show metadata tags, metadata tags editor before export is unchecked. It's checked by default. If you don't uncheck this for each and every single MP3 you export, you will have to hit enter. And when you're making flashcards, sometimes I have 600 MP3 files being exported at once. I don't want to hit enter 600 times. So take my advice and make sure this is unchecked and then hit OK. Now we're going to go ahead and get right into the tutorial. First, you want to hit File, Open, and find the audio file that you want to work with, and hit Open. Then once the file is open, on a Mac, you would hit Control-A to select it. If you're on Windows, go ahead and select it. Then you want to come up to the top and hit Analyze, Sound Finder. And then you'll see a bunch of different choices that you have. I have played with all of these options to see if I could decrease the amount of editing that I have to do and you'll see what I mean by editing in a moment. I have found that changing this does not help me in any way. In fact, this treat audio below this level as silence, when I've tried to change that from 26, frequently Audacity doesn't find any sound. That could be because the voice on the track that I am editing is low. I don't know, but my advice is just to leave these settings alone. Click OK, and then you will see lots of track labels have appeared down here, and it just looks like a jumbled mess. In order to make that um, easier to see and work with, go up to the top and hit View, Zoom, zoom in. And as you can see, if you're on a Mac, the command for zoom in is command one. So I'm going to click that and now you see it's not quite as jumbled. I'll do it a little more so we can see. Now, if I click on this first label, number one, you'll see it highlighted the sound that it found, but it, it missed some here. So how you fix that is you'll see there's a little ball and an arrow. The ball moves the entire selection. The arrow on either side widens the selection. So I went ahead and widened it and now you can see all of the sound is selected. If I go to number two, I'll do the same thing. Oops, I hit the ball, I need the arrow. And you just go through the entire file and fix it to make sure that your sound is selected and that's what I was talking about with those selections before I've tried to play with them to fix this but can't seem to find a way perhaps you'll have more success than me so one thing that you might encounter when doing this if you see right here I have sound but there is no label for me to fix again you could see it happen again right here so what do you do in this situation you're going to put your cursor underneath the sound wave like I did here and you're going to click on edit labels add label at selection and then once you have done that you can edit it just like you did the previous ones now as far as the label is concerned I'm going to call it 10a because it's right next to 10, but you can call it whatever you want. If you wanted to call it custom, you can do that, hit enter, and now it's called custom. If you change your mind, you can change it as many times as you want. Now, some people like to go through and renumber everything. Um, 
because 10, 10A, 11, that doesn't make sense to some people. So they'll go through and they'll relabel everything. But they fall in numerical order here, which is what I need. So to me, there's no point in going through and relabeling everything. It doesn't really make a hill of beans of a difference to me. So let's pretend now that I am finished editing everything. Everything looks good. And how we are going to export it now is by clicking on File, Export, Export Multiple. You want to make sure you select multiple because you want multiple MP3 files. You do not want that single file anymore. So it's very important to select multiple. Then you get this menu box. The first thing is folder. Downloads is where I want to save it. If, if you um, want to choose where to save it, go ahead and click choose and navigate to wherever you want to save it and then click open. Format is make sure MP3 files is selected there. As far as the options, my personal experience is that this doesn't really make a difference when you're com when you're dealing with, um, I'm going to call it an audio file versus a music file. I think these settings may affect a music file more, so I just leave them as is. You can see what's selected on the screen. Split files based on, make sure labels is selected here. Under file names, I like to give my files a prefix that helps me to understand where they belong. Numbering after file name prefix is what I have selected. Here, T4, T3 means something to me. Um, put something that means something to you, for example, if you are creating flashcards for chapter 10 of your textbook, you may want to put chapter 10 here. And then it's going to name everything chapter 10 and then give it that label number. Remember the, the numbers on the labels from earlier that I said you could customize? It's going to put both of those things as the file name so that you can easily see what your sound files belong to. I'm going to go ahead and leave chapter 10 just for you to be able to see what it does. I'm going to click export and here you can see all the files have been exported successfully and if you look at the file names you'll see chapter 10 there and then the label. So whatever you decided to call your files if you left it with the numbering system or custom names that will show here you hit OK, and then you're done with this portion of making the flashcards.